finish all of that, still you learn path, but it's not fitted to your psychology. This is yeah. that part. The first part is teaching and mentoring. So you did that three times. Then it's not enough. You need to personalize a lot of variables, lot of, lot, like time frames, trading time frames. And for example, that depends on the speed of mind. Your contract size, that depends on your dollar loss tolerance, all of those. And this coaching now is needed at the right time. When you know the path, my language, we can talk together by path language. Then you can come and sit and learn and adopt every variable to you, to your psychology. That's the point that other guys also successful trader told you. How was your experience with coaching and we work together because you're very coachable and that makes you very unique. We, this program is only good for very coachable people. Otherwise they don't come and they get bored. They, do, they go to our video, they don't understand the importance of the reach. But at the end, you need coaching to personalize that. And how was your experience? And if you can share it with the students. So, um, like you said, the mindset, that's major. Like, um, what I enjoyed about Pat was um, we sat down um, and you said, well, what are your goals? And I said, I want to take combines. You know? You know what I mean? And my goal in my mind is I don't really care about the money that a combine can make me because I'm thinking I'm thinking 10, 15 years from now. I'm not thinking right now. I'm not thinking what can I put in my pocket right now? So my mindset was. All right, I passed Pat. Is it the truth? No lie. I wasn't really convinced. But, yeah, all right, let me see. Can it pass a combine? Because. All over every combine website, what does it say? 95% of traders fail this test. You're going to give us your money. We're probably going to take it, in other words. Give us the $800, and we're going to take it, pretty much is what they're saying. It's technically designed for you to fail the test. I said, all right, well, is it's Pat the money. truth? Yeah, yeah. Is, Pat, is, Pat, is, Pat, is Pat all cap, as, as, my young, as my young little kids say who come to my gym? Is it cap? I said, all right, Doc, I want to pass the combine. You said, okay, well, this is what we need to do. We need to figure out what's your risk tolerance. And me and you, we sat down, and I, I think you couldn't believe my risk tolerance because you were like, nah, I don't think you should. I don't think you should trade that many contracts. You should trade this, this, this. I'm like, yo, Doc, I'm good with this. Because I, to be honest with you, I have a high risk tolerance. I ride motorcycles. I fight. I like the drama. I like the danger. Like, I need my heart to pump. I feel it. It's what brings me back to the charts every day. So I'm very high risk person. But you also told me that could be a bad thing, that you are high risk like that. And you're going to need to know how to control that. So we talked about it and we found a sweet spot of contracts where I'm comfortable with. I feel like it's worth my time. And we went after that goal. Then this is something that I never learned in any other program that I was in. I've only been in two programs. But um was the fact that we sat down and we understood my um my instrument that I trained and before you I wanted to I, I want to train the ZB the the, the ES I want to trade you know I want to trade all these different I want to have them all over my screen like the like the pros you know what I'm saying and you was like nah focus on one I'm a, I'm a, I'm not gonna lie doc I didn't focus on one at first I want I wanted that $37 a tick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wanted that $37 a tick on the ZB. I'm like, well, if the pass system works, then I can make $37 a tick. Ooh, ooh, but I don't have to, you know, the, the ES, you know, so it took me, I was a little stubborn, but I went over to the ZB. I got slapped in the head right after you and I set up my channels. When you told me to do my, my work for my, um, you were like, uh, figure out, Go back, back test and see the, the, the size of your channels, blah, 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 blah. I had just done that. And the next day I jumped in the market and I knew better because the channels weren't, weren't wide enough for me to make some money, make some real money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you had just told me that. And I was like, man, the man just told me not to do this dumb, dumb stuff. I'm over here doing dumb stuff, trying to be greedy. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much what it was, it was greedy. 
So I was like, all right. He said, dude, learn and master one instrument. I did that. I knew my numbers. I know my numbers. So I don't take trades unless that channel is in the right number. Because we've already done it. Me and you, we worked on it. You made sure that I knew what my channel was on average. So I know profit target one, profit target two, profit target three, and my probability for those particular for those particular uh, uh, trades. And so with the money, with, with that part of the psychology, I think that that was well needed because everyone's going to be different. People aren't going to be like me. They're not going to be able to put 30, you know, I have a contract with Apex where I have 36 contracts at my will. I'm throwing 33 contracts on one trade. You know what I mean? Some people don't have that. that that's not, their tolerance can't deal with that. You know what I mean? I can't. You know what I mean? And me and you, we figured that out. And I think that's extremely important for traders and understanding what their tolerance is, you know, and, and going back to martial arts, it's the same thing. Um, you know, per se, I'm more of a fighter like Floyd Mayweather. I'm not a fighter like uh, Tyson. I don't want to go in and take a couple punches to my face and then give you some and, and knock you out. That's not my style. I'm more of a style where I want to feel a shell. I don't want to get hit. I want to move. I want to pull. I'm like Muhammad Ali. I don't want to get hit, but I want to hit you. I want to make you miss and I want to make you pay. And in the charts, I'm the same way. The more I get hit, the more my psychology gets damaged and and, 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 and that I can't trade. That's why I, I left the other company to come to you because with Pat, I have an 80% win rate. And not only do I have an 80% win rate, but I have the why I'm getting into the trade, which is important to me. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm boxing and I'm a coachable person, I'm very coachable. So you tell me when you go in the ring, I need you to slip and throw your, 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 your up jab at the opponent when he throws his cross or when he throws his jab. That's what I need you to do, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter. I'm going to listen to my coach, to my corner. He's telling me how to win the fight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, what do they call it in trading? They call it, uh, they call it, uh, what is it called? Uh, discretionary. I'm not a discretionary trader. Mm -hmm. And the other team that I traded for, it was up to your decision to say, okay, well, after it breaks support, uh, don't chase the breakout, wait till it comes back to uh, the level and then just buy it. I can't do that. I can't just buy it and not know why I'm buying it. Or, or, or have some type of reassurance that buying it right here is going to work. You know what I mean? Because I am coachable. And so like when you're fighting and I go back into the ring and that guy throws that jab and I slip my head and I throw my up jab, I need to know that that is going to work 80% of the time. I don't need to go back to my corner and my coach is like, okay, remember what we practiced in training? Okay, just do what we've been practicing the last four weeks. Like, wait, what? That, that, that's not going to work for me. Like this guy's, I need your eyes. You, you have the experience to tell me what to do in the ring. And for some people, the discretionary stuff works. Me didn't work. You know what I mean? Like it worked, but I, I, I know I could be better. And so going to that, to, 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 to that point of, you know, having all of everything lined up. Okay. That makes it better for me to take the trade because if I take a trade and I know my channel is this size and I took the trade and I waited for overbought, oversold, and I got in on A, B, C, D, and I waited for the E candle to hit the mark for it to get in and the market goes against me, I'm okay with that because I did everything my coach told me to do. That's just me paying my dues. You know what I mean? And I can sleep at night. I can turn my computer off in the red and be like, Hey man, I did what my coach told me to do. Exactly. That's my me paying my dues. I got to pay 20%. That's my 20% investment in this particular business. There is no business where you're not going to invest anything in and make money. It's just silly for people to think that. So I'm so glad we worked on the on the mindset and the um and the and the and the and the and the, and the, and the strategy and I think it's important for people to be coachable. Because if you're not coachable and you think you know better, you're going to end up in a bad position. You got to think the reason you bought a program or the reason why you signed up to something was because you need to resolve some type of pain issue that you're going through. You're not trading the way that you want to trade. So you need to humble yourself and listen to those who have come before you. It's just that simple. Wonderful.
These are very good points, and I'm sure a lot of uh, aspiring traders are going to listen to you <laughs> and learn. So I remember we had several coaching sessions. I can't remember. Maybe <laughs> on a daily basis, you ask a lot of good questions and key questions that are important. And I used to reply with you either with coaching session or with video.